Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a passport photograph in Photoshop. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to use the UK government requirements for a passport photograph. So for the passport photographs for a UK passport, we want a colour photograph that's clear and in focus, that hasn't been altered by any computer software, and it's at least 600 pixels wide by 750 pixels tall. So what does that look like in Photoshop? Well, the easiest way to do this is to crop your image 6 by 7.5. So let's go into our image. Let's go to the crop tool up here on the left. And then if you go up to the top here, click on the drop down and then you can select ratio. And in here, I've put six for 600 pixels wide by 7.5 tall. And then you can see what this now looks like. So it doesn't matter how small or big you make this crop size, it will remain the ratios six by 7.5. So at present, we have to include the following, your head, shoulders, and upper body. It says don't crop your photograph because it would be done for you, but as we can see in the examples below of what you shouldn't do and what you should do, then we can see how the photograph has been cropped. So if we go back to our image, we can see that just the upper body is selected. So we move our crop to there. And then we can move it to the sides because the shoulders were quite close to the edge of the image. So let's go back and have a look. You can see the shoulders basically almost hit the edge of the image. In addition, you can see that the head has a small gap above it too. So let's just go back and let's just increase the size of the photo just a little bit make a little bit more of a gap and that's perfect. Once you're happy with that, then just click the check icon at the top and then you've correctly cropped and sized that image. Now, what's also required, if we go to the top, is that this is no more than 50 kilobytes and no more than 10 megabytes. So let's just go back, we go to File, down to Export, and then down to Export As. Now excuse my saturated preview, it won't actually save like this. But if we go to the top here and our settings are to say be saved as a JPEG, the quality we can say is good but I'm probably going to select very good for this particular option. Also, the width you can see is over the 600 pixels required, so we can keep it at that for now to keep the clarity of the image. And the height is also above the 750 pixels. And once you've made these adjustments, you can go over the side here and you can see the size of your image. Now, if obviously that's below 50, you need to have taken a better quality image or you need to take more of a close-up image so you don't have to crop out so many pixels. But just make sure that that's not above 10 megabytes. If you want to improve this a little, as you have scope to, you can go back up to the quality, select excellent, and then you can see how that file size has increased. But that's fine because it's still below 10 megabytes. Once you're happy, click export, Choose your location and your file name, and then just click Save. And if I open that image in my desktop, you can see this is a perfect image to now be sent off to the passport agency. Now just be aware there are a lot of other rules here about containing no other objects or people, the background that you must adhere to, and that your clothes must be in contrast, and yourself in contrast to the background, and not have any red eye. Also, other rules include facing the camera, plain expression, your eyes need to be open and visible, no hair in front of your eyes, not have any head coverings unless it's for religious or medical reasons, or have any other face coverings, and no shadows.
And then you can see examples of what should and shouldn't be done. And then of course you can go down the bottom and then you can see what must be included with a baby shot too. So in terms of a passport photograph, the information is all available online. But in terms of how to achieve that in Photoshop, is a simple cropping mechanism and saving according to your file size and quality. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.